The work done is when a force moves an object through a distance. We say work has been done by the force on the object and that energy has been transferred to that object. In the case of the person pushing the box with the force F, the amount of work done by the force on the box is F times D and energy has been transferred to the block. Now, we like to find out what that energy is. I think you can guess. It's kinetic energy. After all, when, you start to, when the force starts to move the block, we have the block moving, therefore it's got movement energy. And that's what we call kinetic energy. So we have to find a way of actually changing EW equals F times D into some form of a formula which gives us the kinetic energy of a moving object. And a moving object will have a speed V. So we can do that by looking at the graph of what happens when the block begins to move. We can draw it here. We have a speed time graph. Initially the block is at zero and the force acting on the block causes the block to accelerate. And it accelerates from zero meters per second to V meters per second. And it does that in a time t. Now we know from our equation that EW, which is the work done, is actually equal to the force applied times the distance. But we do know that the force will be equal to the mass of the block times its acceleration times the distance. I've just changed the force there to give us MA. So the work done by the force on the block is MAD, MAD. But we'd like to get an expression for the acceleration and an expression for the distance travelled by the block. And we can do that from the speed time graph. Working out the acceleration is quite simple. We know that the acceleration is equal to the change in the velocity divided by the time it took for that change to happen. So we go from zero up to V. That will be a change in velocity. So it's going to be zero up to V will be a change in V meters per second divided by the time it took for that to happen, which was t seconds. So there we have an expression for the acceleration, v divided by t. So we can change the a and substitute the a for v divided by t, which we'll do in a minute. But what about the distance travelled by the block? Well, we can find that from the speed time graph as well. Remember, the area of a speed time graph gives you the distance travelled by the graph. So in this case, the area is going to be equal to a half times the base times the height of that triangle, which is a half times t times v, which is the height of the triangle. So here we have two expressions which we can change in the original equation to give us a new equation for the energy transferred which we know is going to be some kind of kinetic energy. So we go back to our original formula, EW equals MAD. We got that from up here. We can substitute the acceleration as V divided by T. And the distance travelled is the area of the graph, which is one half TV. And that looks quite a mess, but we can tidy things up. We can cancel out the two t's, so t's can disappear, one's at the bottom, one's at the top. The half stands for the number, that can be put to the side. Then we have the mass on its own, and then we have v times v. Now v times v is v squared. So there's an alternative form for the energy transferred, Ew is a half times the mass times v squared. And that so happens to be the kinetic energy of a moving object. So the kinetic energy of a moving object, we can write as follows. Ek is equal to one half its mass times the speed that it's travelling at squared. And that is the kinetic energy formula. And the kinetic energy formula tells us quite a lot of things. It tells us that if the mass increases, the kinetic energy, the moving energy of the object increases as well. 
And also, because v is squared, we can see that if we double the speed of an object, we're actually making its kinetic energy four times as big. So that's the kinetic energy formula, which has been derived from a simple starting point that the work done is the force times the distance. The work done is the force times the distance where a force pushes an object over a certain distance, energy is transferred into kinetic energy, and we now know the value of that kinetic energy. We can work it out. The kinetic energy is going to be equal to one half the mass of the object times its speed squared. Kinetic energy. Okay, let's take a couple of examples of how to calculate the kinetic energy of a moving object. Let's take a look at this cheetah. The cheetah is one of the fastest moving animals in the whole of the wildlife we know on this planet. It has a mass of 70 kilograms and it can run as fast as almost 120 kilometers per hour. We'll match the speed to be 90 kilometers per hour for this cheetah. Now, as it stands, we can't use 90 kilometers per hour because we have to change that speed into meters per second. So we can Google it and get our speed in meters per second and we find out that the speed is 25 meters per second. So here's this cheetah with a mass of 70 kilograms running towards you with a speed of 25 meters per second and you can calculate its kinetic energy, the amount of movement energy it has. You start with the kinetic energy formula Ek equals one half mv squared. You put in the numbers. Ek equals one half times seventy times twenty-five squared. Now it's very important that you square the twenty-five only. So your next line of the calculation would be one half times seventy times the value of twenty-five squared, which is six two five. Then do that in your calculator and you find out that the kinetic energy of this cheetah is 21,875 joules worth of energy. Now we can get our head around that and we look at a second example, a much more common example. We don't find ourselves being chased by a cheetah down the street, but we do see double-decker buses coming through our town. A double-decker bus has got a mass of 12,000 kilograms. It has a speed, going quite reasonably well without stopping, of 25 miles per hour. Now once again you can't use 25 miles per hour, it's in the wrong units. You have to change that into meters per second. And once again you can look that up in Google or you can actually just work it out yourself. But we find out the speeds of something going at 25 miles per hour is 11 meters per second. So now we have the mass and now we have the speed, we can work out the kinetic energy. Kinetic energy is one half times the mass times the speed squared. So we can put into our formula the numbers. Ek equals one half times 12,000, the mass, times 11 squared. And the 11 squared is on its own, you don't square anything else. So we work out that, our next line, the 11 squared becomes 1, 2, 1. And the kinetic energy is one half times 12,000 times one, two, one. And you can do that in your calculator and you end up with the kinetic energy of a moving double-decker bus to be 726,000 joules of energy. So that gives you a sort of kind of hang my hat on number of the values of these energies. 726,000 joules, think of a double-decker bus moving along a street at 25 miles per hour. That would be its kinetic energy. Physics is wonderful. Physics is...